So we just discussed how the pericardium, the extent of it, is from the central tendon of the diaphragm upwards to where the great vessels are. It's located between the two lungs, and the pericardium has a fibrous layer, a serous layer. The serous layer has a parietal layer, which is on the outside, just under the fibrous layer, and a visceral layer, which lines the surface of the heart itself. Now, the pericardium is a conical fibrous sac, and it actually extends from thoracic level 5 to 8, and the costal cartilage is 2nd to 6th. Okay, that's just be aware of that. Let's talk about what you can find. In front of the heart, you're going to find the sternum, right? You're going to find the sternum. So, well, so, okay, here, this is your diaphragm. I just told you that the pericardium is attached to the central tendon of the diaphragm. Which nerve supplies this Phren diaphragm? Phrenic. Phren okay, so pericardiaco, pericardiaco, phrenic ligament. The ligament that attaches the pericardium to the diaphragm is pericardiacophrenic. Okay. Now, the mm -hmm. ligaments that attach um, anteriorly this to the sternum, the pericardium to the sternum, are the sternopericardiac ligaments. Sternopericardiac ligaments, superior, inferior. Okay, now next you need to be aware of two sinuses that can be formed within the pericardium you can have a transverse pericardial sac which will be behind the pulmonary trunk and the aorta anterior to the, to the superior vena cava this is really important for surgeons when they want to do a ligation of the One big the vessels area. so when they want to do a ligation of the big vessels surgeons are going to go looking for the transverse pericardial sinus okay you need to know about two sinuses let me tell you you have a transverse pericardial sinus you What's have an oblique pericardial so a sinus is basically any space that forms any space or recess that forms because of different layers being present now i already told you we have two layers don't we serous and pri uh, parietal and visceral of the serous pericardium because we have two layers there will be at some point two layers aren't always going to stay like this because they are surrounding a heart if, whenever there's a space that's called a Sinus. sinus okay i'll show you where that is here's your aorta here's your aorta not, sinus. Sinus. not that one not that one it's a sinus between the two layers right so yeah. okay here's your okay here's your Here's your right ventricle your right ventricle gives you your pulmonary trunk now this is the space right here Okay, this space. So the space that's behind the pulmonary trunk, it's almost as if you can put your finger behind the pulmonary trunk and put your finger behind the aorta. Do you agree that this is the aorta? Yeah. Because not only does it give off all of these great vessels. And do you agree that this is the pulmonary trunk? Yes. Yes. So if you stick your finger right here, that's middle. your transverse sinus. No, no, behind these two big vessels. Yeah. And you will come out the other side in front so of... zoom into that sinus? Yeah, it's over here. Over here, kind of. Okay. Let me show you it from behind. It's what like is there. that? That's called your transverse epicard transverse pericardial sinus because it's pericardium. By the way, it's posteriorly to your aorta, it's posteriorly to your pulmonary trunk, but when you put your finger through it, you're gonna come out with anteriorly to the superior vena cava. Okay.